Welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the London, Brighton, and South Coast Railway E2 class steam locomotive. Now I believe this is a tank engine, and this is actually what Thomas the Tank Engine's real life counterpart is. And I have two versions here. Uh, the one that Thomas's he is extended uh, side tanks like this. So this sticks out a little bit, while this one has shorter side tanks. As you can see it ends right there, we don't have like that jutting piece right here. But yeah, um, a lot of people requested me to do this, and I just tried to work on it during a live stream, and it was actually pretty easy to build. Um, yeah, let's uh, get started on this build. So first off, we're going to take uh, red wool, go to the tracks, two blocks above the tracks, place the red wool down, then on either side of that, place a piston like that, and a lever in the middle, pull it down so we can have our buffers, and add red wool to the sides of this. And the middle part, we're going to add, uh, what is this, gray concrete, and we're going to make it uh, 13 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, 13. <laughs> Same thing in the back, 5 blocks wide. Let's uh, put a lever in the middle, pull that down, add the pistons right here alongside it. All right, so then we're going to take out, um, what are we going to take out? Let's take out dark oak um, wood stairs, actually spruce wood. We're going to use spruce wood for the wheels and dark wood for the other parts. So we're going to take our spruce wood, right? And we're going to make the first wheel right here. We want to leave a gap between that and the front part like that. Uh, we're just going to make it like an Oreo cookie, just circular, and then uh, skip two blocks, add another wheel right here, and skip two blocks, another wheel. I'm just doing the, like the top parts first, then I'm going to go work on the bottom. So yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, in real life, it's not equidistant like this, but <laughs> this is just what we had to do. Alright, then we're going to do this side. Skip two, another one, and do the same thing, skip two again, uh, then add the bottom parts, alright, so after we do that, we're going to take out a uh, dark oak wood slab, just add one right here, then it's going to go up by two, I mean up up a little one slab and then two blocks long like this and then we're gonna add some stuff in this middle section uh, nether bricks uh, stairs like this three blocks across and the middle one we're gonna replace that with a black wool we're gonna make a plus sign right here like that, and we're going to extend it by one to the back, like so. And then we're going to add some more, another brick stairs upside down on the corners. Top corners, just make it more rounder, like this. Did I say rounder? <laughs> and then the chimney right here, the smokestack is just a single black wool block. And the middle part is a stone button like this, bam. Then we're going to add uh, some stuff to the side, the dark oak wood stairs. We're going to have that right here, upside down. I need to place something right there. I feel like there should be something. There is actually nothing holding that up. That's a little weird. So we're just going to do that both sides. and. To the back, there's another uh, steps right there, a little ladder. Put that right here after uh, the last wheel like this. Now it's kind of hovering. Uh, now we're going to take dark oak wood slab, just add it right underneath this ladder piece. So there is uh, four of these. And I did not know this when I, was, when I first saw the E2 class. It's like a last minute detail, just adding this part. I don't know why some engines they have this for some reason. Okay, so then we're gonna add. Uh, woo, uh, no, I shouldn't do that. I should get brown terracotta first. Then it'll be easier. 
So brown terracotta just added from the red wool block right above there. And that's going to extend to one block past the second wheel. Like that, and it goes up like this. And then we're going to make three holes here for the little, <laughs> little decoration. So it's like the letterings, I believe, for the railway. I think I think it'll probably say uh, LB and SCR, or maybe not. I don't know. That's just what the railway is called. So I'm just going to do that on both sides. And then uh, we're going to go to the back part and add yellow concrete to the edge like this and brown concrete next to it. And then yellow concrete in these three holes in the front. Like so, and then we're going to take uh, this brown terracotta, fill that in the back. And also we're going to fill in this floor part, brown terracotta. All the way, we don't want to expose this area, so we're just going to cover that up. All the way to the front. And when we get to here, like at the edge of the side tank, uh, we're going to add just two in the middle. And then oak wood, dark oak wood stairs, I believe. Yeah, that's why I use dark oak wood stairs like this. Both sides, upside down. And then uh, take this brown terracotta. We want to extend this cross shape. Cross. Then stairs on top. Like so. And we're going to go ahead and add some stuff to the back dark oak wood slab five blocks across in the back and some more detail uh stone buttons like this like a triangle shape and then we're gonna add uh this another brick fence right here right above this piston and another one right here above the other piston like so and then we're gonna add now we're gonna add the wooden trap door on the sides just go down here just add it. A real life one, I believe they have like some sort of a trim, so this kind of helps make it look better. Do the same thing on this side, just add it all along this side. We don't want to open it though. Alright, so this is basically where the doorway is, so let's add that. Um, there will be a little wall, so we're going to make this W shape like that. We want the holes in the middle part so that we can have uh, the windows to look out of and the back windows I'm gonna put iron bars inside and the front window we're gonna have to make a wall for that too uh, right above this yellow concrete just start to make your W right here and this time we're gonna use glass instead so I used a uh, black stained glass block I think uh, gray would be good too and then we're going to add some more uh, dark oak wood slabs. Just add two to the sides like this. And add three blocks wide in the middle. And just fill in this section in. And we want to take a dark oak wood stairs. This is so long to say. Look, it's like four words together. And we're going to have that one in the middle. And this is supposed to be, I think it's a whistle right there so it kind of sticks out a little bit but that's fine and we want to extend this uh, boiler I believe in the middle all the way back to the cap and just gonna leave that open space alone yeah you can imagine there's like water or steam inside and also add a dark oak wood slab right here skip two blocks uh, wood stairs uh, back to back like so so it's like a little dome and then we're going to take out, um, I just want to see this part. Oh, wow, it is. It really is just the hole. I just left that alone. Uh, if you really wanted to, I guess you can cover this up. But I, yeah, you can't really see it that well. Uh, all right, so then we're going to take out uh, this cobblestone wall. Two blocks here, top of each other, both sides. And then after that, let's add brown carpet on the side tanks like this same thing on this side 
And uh, let's see, what else can we add to this? Oh yeah, there's like the side rods. So to make that, it's just the stone slab right here at the bottom. Uh, it's gonna go connect to this, so it doesn't matter. That covers it up, because this is supposed to be in the front. And also, the back one, it goes all the way to the front half of the back wheel. Same thing on this side, so... Just goes across like that. Alright, so, um... I believe that's pretty much it. Oh wait, we did forget to add some more brown carpet in the front. There's always something. With uh, steam engines, they're really complicated to make. So I'm just gonna fill that in. Looks like I just left these two alone. But it really depends on what how you want it to look like. Um, hmm, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for um, the E2 class, the regular uh, short side tanks. So let's make the extended side tanks. This is what like Thomas the Tank Engine has. So uh, it's really similar to the short one. Uh, basically, we're just going to extend this part by two. So bam, two blocks. Then take out cobbles and wall. Just add uh, two in front of there, like so. And then on the bottom here, going to add uh, this dark oak wood slabs and same thing on the other side so just extend this top part by two dark oak wood slabs on the bottom uh then this cobblestone wall on the sides like so we don't want to open that up and also on the top layer you can also extend it if you want to have it the same color but i didn't i just left it like this so pretty much i think you could just leave it like this actually just cover up the yellow parts also in the inside, one last thing I almost forgot, oh my god. And I'm gonna try to get inside here, it's a little bit hard. Uh, let's fill in this wall here. Of course there's gonna be like a fireplace, so if you wanna do that, just put an uh, iron trap door right there, lever, pull it down, pretend there's a fire in there. You could probably make a fire, let me see, charge. Yeah, you can pretend there's like fire, boiler, whatever firebox and you can look out the window uh, but also you can also add, let's add a lever right here in the middle on top of it uh, if you want to look out the windows uh, we can take dark oak wood slab just add two of them right here then you can step up kind of look outside the front you can see the size a little better and also you can look outside see what it looks like from the cab you can see <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than a player, but this is 1.5 to 1 scale, so that's what you have to deal with. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it on how to make the E2 class in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you do, please hit that thumbs up button below and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will be uploading more videos in the future, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.